Good morning, folks. Welcome back to V-Mills Farm. Well, I guess it's not morning by the time this is up. Sorry. Um, but it is the morning after the super frigid temperatures. <clears throat> right now it's, according to my weather app, it's 1 and feels like negative 20. So it is very, 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 very bitter. Just going to go check on the animals. Make sure. Make sure they're still comfortable. <clears throat> it couldn't have been a very fun night for them. Regardless of how well they did. Because it's just, it's just cold. Well, her body doesn't feel cold, so that's good. How'd you guys do, huh? You guys stayed cozy, did ya? see where that chicken is they kind of <clears throat> made a little bed in there which is what I wanted them to do chickens all they were all cuddling last night that's funny I'm guessing there won't be a whole lot of activity for them out here, or me, to be quite honest with you. Uh, my mustache is already frozen. My hands hurt. And I'm just glad to see they're doing all right. I'm gonna have to bring them water multiple times. It's obviously gonna freeze really quickly. Um, <clears throat> And I haven't had the opportunity yet to get those drums set up with the heaters and nipples and all that. So I don't know if that's going to be happening this weekend either. I'd like to get lights in here, but, you know, then of course it is Christmas time. So got lots of family to go see and all that stuff. So I didn't quite use my head when I was making plans for this weekend because you know it's the weekend's kind of shot as far as farm stuff which is fine because get to spend time with family and that's always good so yep the animals are all good <clears throat> the piglets i'm guessing are just going to camp out there all day which i don't blame them that's where i'd be so yeah i guess we'll uh Go get some water. One of the signs it's really cold out is when you're walking on the snow. First of all, on top of the snow. And uh, it sounds like you're walking on styrofoam. And, of course, the old frozen mustache is a good sign, too. Yeah, won't be uh, much going on outside today.
I moved their water and feed over here in their little sectioned off warm area. Hopefully the water will stay thawed over here a little bit. And I'm gonna keep all these guys with a full plate so that they can just eat as much as they want. Um, hopefully it'll help keep them warm. Um, you know, letting them, letting them just uh, free choice feed for a few days isn't gonna hurt anything for like mama and Missy, so. Yeah, we'll just put the feed to them. I'm sure they won't be doing much of anything today besides curling up in, in the hay. Mom will be cuddling chickens and Mama and Missy or uh, Missy and Hubert will be together and then all these guys. I think um, going by my mustache meter there won't be any outside projects going on today, so I'm gonna get these guys fed and then I'll go inside and maybe my wife and I'll do a video together or something. It's uh, just way too cold out. My hands actually really, really hurt. Inside now where it's a lot warmer and my wife is going to be showing you how to make butter this is kind of awkward because none of us have uh, <laughs> none of us have ever taken a video with another person around so so uh, this is Janelle and she can't stop laughing <laughs> okay I'm nervous this isn't gonna work because this fro was in our fridge. Oh yeah, our fridge has been freezing everything for some reason. So. So what is this? Th oh crap, this is heavy cream. This is all you need. And then you put it in your mixer. I'm not old school, so I don't, you know, really churn it or anything. So you literally just dump it in I don't know, I'm nervous. It's, <laughs> I don't think this is gonna work. Ew. This might not work. It's a little chunkier than normal. I mean, it's usually thick. I don't know, I read online and it said, heavy cream's fine if it freezes because people freeze it all the time. But I couldn't find anything about if making butter with it is okay. Okay, so there's a disclaimer. This might not work, and we're not doing it the traditional way. It's a lot easier to make butter than people probably think it is. So we're just gonna let it rip. So I use the whisk attachment and lock it in, and then just start pretty low. And then you can do better than that. I usually cover it because it makes a big mess, but. I'm trying to think of like how long ago it was that you painted this. It was a long time ago. This is all done by yours truly. With the good. Right on. All right, so once you're rolling, kind of like move it up a little bit more, and then I just cover it. So it doesn't splatter all over. It looks kind of normal now, so. It does. I think that's a little too high. So I have it on four, speed four of 10, like low, medium. Keep that there for like two minutes. I never time it, I don't know. So I don't know how long to tell you. Maybe we'll time it today. Well, it just goes from that to straight butter, right? Well, you like turn it up. Oh, okay. So like you're starting low because it's so like splashy right now. Yeah. And so then we'll like- thickens up, you go? Yeah, we thicken and then we'll turn it up. And that's when it gets really, really splashy. 
God. So then I just usually do dishes or like go do a different project because it usually takes a little while. So it's been like 10 minutes and it's like looking like whipped cream kind of or like cool whip. So it's getting definitely like a lot thicker. I'm going to bump it up to, I don't know, all the way, full blast, we're going to 10. We're getting really close. It kind of looks like cottage cheese, almost, and it's like starting to splatter. So just keep going full speed for a little bit longer. We're about, oh, 20 minutes in right here. You ready? Mm -hmm. It's done. So it's separated the liquid and the butter. So that's how you know it's done. That took, yeah, just about 20 minutes. And it's a little messy, but that's okay. I'm gonna separate the butter and the buttermilk. So usually I just kind of take it out and squeeze it a little bit. Squeeze out as much as you can because you're gonna save the buttermilk. Use it for biscuits or whatever. So the stuff that's left oh, over 30. is buttermilk. Yes. goes there and then I get out as much as I can and then I just kind of strain it over here into whatever jar you want to use to keep it perfect then you're going to use that bowl and put ice water in it and we're going to rinse in there so it doesn't like melt. I just kind of like, kind of like you're kneading bread. I don't really know if this is how you're supposed to do it, but this is how I do it. So kind of rinse it. I want to get new water. So drain that. I usually do about three times. Something like that. So the water comes out pretty clear after you rinse it. You can kind of feel like a film on here, but as you rinse it more, that kind of disappears. All right, it's getting clearer. Now they just take one more round. Mm. Kind of feels like a little waxy. So it's pretty clear. That's pretty much how you want it to look. Um, then I take it out and just squeeze out as much as you can. And then transfer, basically now you just want to dry it, get out all the excess water. And I tried a cheesecloth because that's the original recipe I looked at said to do a cheesecloth, but I did not like it. It like left stuff in the butter, so I use paper towels. There might be a better way to do it, but this is what I do. Viva paper towels, the best. And just kind of dry it, get out all that water. Then I take it off. Oh yeah, and we gotta add salt. You can add salt if you want to. I never measure it, I just kind of sprinkle it. Not a lot, a little bit goes a long way. And then mix it in. I'll grab some salt for me. I don't know how much to do. Just a little bit. Well, yeah, that's good. And you just wanna mix it in. So it looks 
looks like butter. Apparently frozen heavy cream works. Mm -hmm. So that's good. I was a little nervous. And we need this for tomorrow. So, all right, and then that's it. I usually do it in half and then just kind of make a stick and throw it on our butter dish. And then I'll like wrap saran wrap around the other one, put it in the fridge. So how much it. heavy whipping cream was that to make all that? Mm. A half meal? No. What is that thing? You're putting me on spot. I'm all full of this stuff. I don't know. What is that? A pint? That's bigger than a pint. Oh. A quart. I think. <laughs> I don't know. That's it. Cool. We got butter. So as you can see, making butter is a cool, quick, easy way to uh, impress your friends this this uh, Christmas season. It's really easy to do. You just take heavy whipping cream, stir it in, the, in your mixer, slowly pick up the speed as it thickens up. And then once it separates, then you get it out and knead it and do all that stuff. Um, and then you're left over with buttermilk so you can make biscuits and all that stuff. Um, that's going to do it for today's video. There's going to be a lot more of this kind of stuff coming up because it's freezing outside. Um, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, uh, hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything. Until next time, keep farming. We'll see you later.